it's been a while since I've been able to do a video. An unfortunately long time, due to um, a great number of reasons that would take way too long to explain right now, but I, I'm trying my best. Uh, anyways, Slime Rancher 2 came out, uh, like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. I think on the 22nd of September. And it's a really good game. I loved the first one. They did such a great job. Uh, the, they made the world look so good. Uh, there's game progression. There's all sorts of things for you to do. It's just really good. You have a sense of progression. And it's Oh, it's just such a cute game. I love it so much. Slime Rancher 2 is honestly a huge disappointment. Yeah, I know. The game starts off really good. Like, look at this. This is the main hub. This is where you start. Uh, it's this fantastic looking conservatory with a glass ceiling. And it's just awesome. Uh, they've got all sorts of new things that they've added, uh, like slots number five and six. This is a huge thing that people asked about last time, is uh, they wanted to be able to carry more than just the main four things. And you start with the uh, refinery unlocked. It's actually right down here. And they did so much. They made an entirely new map. They made... They made a story for it. They made a new map. Like, it's pretty awesome. It's very cute. It's very cuddly. Like, they've got some really fun new stuff. There's new veggies. There's new decorations. There's new slimes. Like, they did a great job so far. But it's just kind of a disappointment. Currently, there are 16 slimes. Now, I, I love the slimes. They're the, they're the main draw of the game. <laughs> but when you look around, you see that there's actually less slimes than there should be. Like, some of my favorite slimes from the first game are slimes like, of course, you've got the pink slime. The honey slimes are fantastic. The, uh, the tabby slimes are cute and sweet and are just like my cats. Uh, the rad slimes are dangerous to get close to. There's the mosaic slimes, which cause explosions around them. There's the tangle slimes. There's so many fun, unique slimes. And then when you look at the market, oh, some of the more unique slimes are not here. There's no rad slime. There's no mosaic slime. There's no... Quicksilver, there's no uh, Saber Slime, there's no... They, they, they took out so many of the slimes. And instead, we've got a couple of new ones, which I'm actually pretty pleased with what they did. Some of their new slimes are really good. Uh, I've got some of them down here. Uh, these guys are my Flutter Ringtails. If I go to my Slimepedia here, they changed how it works a bit. Uh, I'll go through all the different slimes, and then I'll run around the world and look at what's going on. Uh, so, of course, there's the pink slime. Uh, one of the new ones is the cotton slime. These guys are these guys are like the first ones that you encounter besides the pink slimes. Uh, they're easy. They're good to corral. They're nice, docile slimes that aren't anything special. They jump really high, but that's about it. Uh, they're great starter slimes. Uh, another new one is the angler slime. This one is pretty unique. It's it, it seems like it's like a slime hunting slime. And they will make flashes and draw other slimes close and then stun them, which is really interesting. Uh, there's the batty slime. These guys are these guys fly up high. They are all over the place in caves. They're just really unique and really fun. Uh, these guys are... These guys eat fruit. Uh, these ones, they eat uh, meat. Uh, then there's the flutter slimes. These guys are completely unique. Uh, they will fly super high. 
Uh, however, they only eat nectar, which is a completely unique resource that only grows at a specific time and can't be farmed, so it's a bit irritating. You're going to want to make these guys into larders. There's the ringtail slimes, which are kind of like the garbage disposals of this game. They will eat literally forever, but they'll only give quartz for so many times. Uh, they'll eat literally anything, too, so they'll just mow through your farms if they get out, which can be a big nuisance. Uh, and then that's it! That's the, what, one, two, three, four, five new slimes. Yep. Five new slimes. It's a bit lackluster right now. Again, this is very early, so I'm hoping that they find more slimes to add eventually. I'm hoping that they add a lot of things eventually, because it is currently day 23, and as you notice, I currently have 53,000 uh, coins. It's absurd. There's, there's unfortunately not much to actually spend your coins on. Of course, you have to spend them to upgrade all of your things, but that's about it. If I come down here to the uh, fabricator, you actually need to use coins to fabricate things now, which is nice. This is also where you get all of your gear upgrades, which is both good and bad. I am not a huge fan of this, because as you notice, as I'm clicking on these, I can't actually upgrade some of them, despite the fact that something like the heart module isn't fully upgraded. You need to find pieces for this stuff out in the world in the uh, resource pods. There's also not very many utilities, or warp tech, or decorations. Like, it's just kind of... It's like they took steps backwards in this game. There's no drones, there's no uh, uh, drills or pumps or any of that stuff. Instead, what you do now is you go out into the world and you look around. There's nothing around here. Sometimes you gotta wait, listen a bit. See if I can find something. I don't see any down here. You kinda gotta know where to look. Oh yeah, they made it so there's no longer crates for rocks that you break open. Yeah, some of these. This right here is the grind. This is the resource that you would normally get from the dry reef. But now you don't actually have to use resources to get resources. Which I guess is kind of fun, but also not, because it takes a lot of the risk out. Here's some jelly stone, which is also another resource. Oh, there's a drop pod there. I didn't realize that was there all this time. Whoop! Oh, look! There's the heart cell that I needed. Ah, and that noise, that little tinkling noise, is me knowing that there is a piece to harvest nearby. You gotta break it up, suck it in. Yeah, there's a lot of world to explore. There's also these drones. These will have bits of lore, just kind of all over the place. But there's not much lore. I don't know who this GG person is. And they've tried to explain it with other things, but I, I have no idea what the story is. There clearly is a story. Like if I come down this way and I go over to this island, there's 
very clearly something going on. Because uh, this is how you get around the map now. There's teleporters. Uh, as you can see, I just went from this area through this bridge over to here. Or rather, from here over to here. Over to the Starlight Strand. And looking up, it's... Uh, Oof! It's pretty over here, but wow is this place kind of messed up in a lore way. There's some of those. Need some water. There's gates all over the place. There's no uh, actual slime keys, which is another thing that they got rid of. Which I guess is okay. I'm not a huge fan of them getting rid of it, but I understand why. It wasn't everyone's cup of tea. I thought it was nice having to uh, go around and actually explore to find things and unlock new areas. But I guess it just wasn't everyone's cup of tea. Look, there's some angler slides. Uh, I'm currently going here. I need to go around this way. Not inside. I need to go up. Over there, that must be some silky sand. Out. Eventually, you just learn to look for resources kind of all over the place. And you learn where to look. But it's just kind of a disappointment. For a game that has so much potential, it just kind of feels half baked. <laughs> Oh, and uh, this right here, this is Moondo Nectar. It's a very specific kind of thing that only pops up at specific times of the day in very specific areas. You know, that doesn't make it hard to farm at all, especially when there's a Gordo of this. It's just kind of irritating and... I get it, I like it, it's a good concept, but in practice it's just irritating, especially considering that you have to go out very late at night if you want even a chance of finding stuff. You can't get it from crates, you can't farm it, so it's just annoying. Again. You just have to know where to look, otherwise you're never going to find it. Oh, and it only gets eaten by one kind of slime. Did I mention that too? And it's not the ringtail, it's the flutter. Look at this guy. He's pretty. I like him. All the slimes that they did add are unique and fun, and it just feels like they could have done better. Ah! I didn't mean to fall. Okay, there we go. There's some nectar. There's some nectar. have some nectar, which is nice, because I'm trying to work my way back up to that Gordo. This is always fun. There's a cave down here, with this super strong guy that shoots you up to be high. It's really fun. Now, there's also a couple of other uh, areas that you can warp to and from. Uh, gonna run out of water. Stop multiplying. Let's 
What's that one? Yes! I don't know how many of these I actually need, but I need a lot. I think I've fed it eight already. There's another one. It's a very pretty area, like, it's legitimately a really good game in concept, but the way that they've executed it is just kind of lackluster when you also played Slime Rancher 1, where that game had so much more to just do and explore. I'm really hoping that they do better in the future, but... For now, it's just a bit lackluster and kind of a disappointment. Okay, let's go see if this 11 is enough to pop one of the last Gordos on the map. Because I'm pretty sure that I've popped all the other ones. There was a Bat one there, there was a Tabby there, Crystal Rock Boom. Uh, there was a bunny one. Bunny was there. There was a pink one there. There was a phosphor there. There's been basically every kind of slime as a Gordo. Except for gold. But that's because gold is special. Ooh. One more? Nice. Alright. Well enough. Oh! More than! I only need seven! Whoa! Whoa! This is big. There's a drone down there. Interesting. I'll explore that way in a minute. It's probably the way back out. What is down here? Will I be able to get back out? Oh, be quiet. Whoa. Okay. No, that doesn't explain anything! Ah! Doesn't explain any of this story at all! Great, I can teleport here. But that doesn't explain anything! leave out all the important details that you actually need to know to understand the story. Like, they took out every other chapter. So I'm completely lost on what the story of this place actually is. And I get that it's not a story-driven game, but in one, there was at least some semblance of a Oh, let's go through this area and figure things out. Let's talk about what's going on in this specific moment. With the notes that were left behind. And yet here it just doesn't feel like it's... It feels like it's just not important. Or wasn't considered important. And 
yet there's a very clear story element of the game. Frustrating. Okay. I'm, I want to get back to base because I want to show you one of the last two features of this new game, which I I both do and don't enjoy. Like, it's an okay feature in that it exists and I would have enjoyed it in the last game, but I also would have enjoyed it better in the last game because you actually could have understood why it had to exist. It's, it, it is a beautiful game. I do enjoy it. There's a lot to explore. I'm still finding new stuff. It's a ringtail! Ringtails will become statues if they are out in the sun for a while, but taking them in somewhere like a cave or a shielded area, or just waiting until it's night, will turn them back into a normal creature. Sweet home. Here it is. Oh, look! Someone new is calling me. Ooh, I've got calls from all the peoples, so you can call. Get calls from Victor, from Moki, from Ogden, and from Thora. These are all characters from the last game that you interact with in some way. You actually go to Ogden's farm, and that's where you get the saber quartz and the saber slimes. Uh, you go to Moki's farm, and that's where Quicksilver. Uh, Quicksilver creatures are, which makes them extra nice. And then Victor Humphreys has the simulation area where you find glitch stuff. And all of them give you bonuses and rewards. But let's see what they actually have to say. Okay. So he just gives me something. Ooh, okay. So she just gave me a thing to try out once I'm done with this video. To go around and look at some more of these drones. What do you have? Grass. Thanks. I don't care about harvesting my forge right now, because I just... I have so many. I have so much cash, I will, I will never need it again. Let's go ahead and throw all this stuff in here. Then, let's look at this. What do I need? I need... Oh, no! 1,500 new bucks. I wonder if I'm going to have enough. Uh, I do need some more jelly stone and lava dust. For this one, I'm going to need some deep brine and some jelly stone. And 900 new bucks. Oh, no. Yeah. It's a lot more grindy and... It both does and doesn't encourage exploration. Like, I have so many forts, it's absurd. 
if it wasn't for the fact that these guys would get out and turn into cars, I would not care if they did. I would love to have drones to just do this for me. Like, please, add drones back to the game. I don't want to have to worry about, oh no, everything's full, have to go clear it out again, because I just did exploration. Yeah, it's just kind of irritating. But yeah, that's the game. I'm really hopeful for the future of it. I'm... I'm really hoping that they can do something. Add in some new stuff, add in some old stuff, just make this game feel like... Feel like it should. It just doesn't feel like a good game right now. It just feels like a half-baked attempt at A lot of people that I've seen in the discussions have said, this could be DLC and nobody would bat an eye. And honestly, I, I feel like that's true. This could have been DLC for the first game and nobody would have cared at all. Nobody would have looked and said, oh, why'd they do that? Nobody would have minded if this was actually DLC. There we go. I do enjoy the fact that some of the decorations actually have utility. Like uh, this one right here. This is a lava pit, and you can actually put a fire pit in here. It's really cute, and it actually damages you. It's really cute, and I do enjoy that part. They've done some pretty nice stuff. But yeah, I'm just kind of done with the game already. Like, finished. I did the thing. I did all the things. And now I'm waiting for them to either give me the drones so I can make this all more automated, or I'm pretty much just done. Cat, why are you snipping my mic? I don't know if that's actually going to show up on the audio. My cat just walked up and sniffed my microphone. That's cute if it does, but also weird. for all this stuff. I have so much money right now, I could just straight up purchase almost everything at once. But because I need all of the resource crates unlocked first, I can't actually get the stuff that I need. Like, I can't upgrade to have 50 slots in my inventory until I find that one resource crate specifically that has it. And who knows where the heck that is. I could probably find a guide, and that might be what I do. Because seriously, I have so much... Just... I don't need coin anymore. I'm done with it. I empty these out and then I come back after finding a whole bunch of resources and it's all so beyond full again. So 
so I'm just kind of done, I guess. They made the game substantially easier to get started, and that's kind of the issue. They made it easier in the early game, and because it was easier in the early game, it became way easier in the late game. Like, by day... Day 7, I think, I had 40 grand. I had 40 grand, I had the back the backpack upgrades, I had all the things. I had the jetpack, I even had the jetpack too, which uh, I did a bit of a sequence break for that one, which was pretty fun. But yeah. Until they update the game, I'm probably not going to be coming back to this super often. Because there's just not much left. At least with the first game, when you needed something, you actually had to put effort into it. We need Jellystone, Lava Dust, and Deep Fry. I'm gonna go collect all those and figure out what's next. Cause yeah. Oh my goodness, and get rid of some of these reports. They're absurd. We need this many. I can't even run off the edge and get rid of all of them because there's a new upgrade that makes it so you keep some of your inventory when you die. And oh look! It's full again. It's just crazy. Yeah. I'm gonna spend a while emptying this, go to like things, and figure out what this story is. Uh, I will not be putting it in the video though. That's something that you guys gonna have to do yourself. So, I will clean this out. And I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Sorry that I haven't been able to make videos for a while. Uh, long story short, my landlord is stupid and finding a new house is dumb. So, yeah, that's, that's what's been going on. See you guys next time.